Hey guys, we're going to go throw the new DNA by Storm today. Um, layout on this one's going to be the normal. It's 5x5x2. Five by five by um, yeah, we're going to go throw some shots and kind of see what we got going on. You like the Bolify jersey, right? Bolify? Go click the link. It's uh, the Roto Grip Gem by Bolify. All right, let's go. First shot with the brand new DNA by Storm Bowling. We're gonna start off at about 21 with our feet. Looking at about 12 for 13 at the arrows. Try to get up the back of it a little more. Yeah. Maybe a touch right off that one. All right, so off that first shot, we're actually just gonna move our feet about three more right. So we're going to be on about 19, looking at about 11, trying to keep it fairly straight, fairly square. Again, keep our hand real up the back. Yeah, and I actually even got to round that one a little too much, and it just kind of picks up enough and just smooths out off the spot. All right, so same alignment. Let's try to keep our hand up the back of it a touch more. Just try to get it to really pick up and almost kind of lock up down lane. That was a much, much better shot. You can just see the ball really want to dig how strong that cover and core combination is. All right, so five more left. Get us into like the 25 range with our feet. Looking about 15, 16 at the arrows. Hand still fairly up the back of it. Yeah, and then the track area here just comes to life and you can see a ball just really dig in the track here. All right, so off that last shot, we're just gonna try to firm up a little bit, try to get the ball through that, that real crispy kind of track area here. Yeah, and just a little more ball speed kind of gets the ball to float down the lane a little bit longer. All right, so five more left. Gonna get us into that 30 range with our feet. Probably 19, 20 at the arrows. Still trying to hit about 9, 10 down lane. Oh! All right, so going off the last one here, we've, we've got to get our hand a touch more around it. Just try to get the ball to have a little more shape, a little more continuation. The very strong cover and core. And on the house patterns, especially on a higher friction center. Yeah, I want to have much better shape. All right, so off the four nine, we're just a little two and two left, keep it in the oil a little longer. Still starting to get our hand around it a little more. Oh. Just quality shots, that's what I'm here for. Just quality shots. All right, so let's try that one more time. Try to hopefully not fall all over ourselves. Same thing, just in the oil a little longer, a little more around it. That was not in the oil. The ball is so good, it doesn't matter how many I miss by. All right, so five more. In the 35 range, 36. Should be about 23, 24, probably still trying to keep it in the oil as long as I can. Just so that ball can retain a little bit more energy down lane. I do really like this DNA. I, I just, I've always been a, a fan of like the bigger core cover combinations because it makes the ball kind of round out a little bit down lane. And I think this DNA is going to be no exception to that. All right, so after that lovely last shot we just threw in where I might have missed the whole lane, we're going to move another five left. Try to keep it in the oil a little longer. Yeah, and then 
that big cover and core is starting to finally just slow down too much on enough down lane response. All right, so we're, we're gonna work our hand around the side of it a little bit more, um, kind of gear down a little bit in the speed and just see if we can get this ball to kind of continue through the deck off the last one. Yeah, and we just, all that rotation and so slow, just so much response. All right, so I think the DNA is gonna be a great addition to anybody's bag that they throw a lot of like the reality from Nine Heart Global, the gem from Rotogrip, um, anything like that. I think it's gonna be just a slight step down, a little more continuation down lane than those two balls. Yeah, and just a little bit of hand trick and you can almost make this ball just kind of keep coming around the corner. All right, just a, a little bit more air time off those last couple kind of slower, more rotated shots we've been making. Just try to get the ball to delay a little bit to counteract all this speed change. Looks, man. One last try here. Um, I've got so slow that I'm kind of so far around it, it just keeps wanting to dig off of it too much. Yeah, I mean, it just it takes so much to, like, get it down the lane and actually retain energy. All right, so we'll get back into, like, where I thought the, the DNA was at its best. It's going to be in this 30 range with my feet, looking at about 19, probably, 19, 20. Good break, good break. All right, let's try to make one more good shot here. That has been a, a rare occurrence today. Let's just try to make one better effort. Hey, we finally got one close. All right, our first comparison ball today is gonna be a, one of my favorites, the Storm Proton Physics. So we're gonna get in that same first zone. We had the DNA kind of going up the lane real real forward, just kind of let the ball tumble. Yeah, and you can even see the Proton want to pick up a little bit earlier and just kind of smooth the lane out more. I think the Proton's probably a little bit better suited for those straighter kind of, want to call them like a little bit of a tumble, just where your hands straight up the back of it, just trying to roll it. I think it struggles when you have to start generating a little bit of angle. Yeah, and you can just watch it in the track and that ball almost looked like it hooked like two or three times. All right, so add a little rotation, try to get the, the proton to delay a little longer, especially off the last one. Such more ball speed here. And then I just throw it so bad. All right, so they are just kind of all over, all over the place today. So we're just gonna try to make a little bit better shot. Same thing, a little more rotation. Yeah, and that was actually a much better shot than the last one. And you can just see how much earlier that is than the DNA. All right. So now we're into that zone, like that 30-ish 30, 30 with my feet, 31, 32. We're trying to, this is where I think the, the DNA is gonna be quite a, a better shape, just cause it's a little more continuous. All right, good hit. All right, so another five left gets us into like 35. Trying to get it to about 10 down lane. And then now you can really see the difference. The proton just is so round and smooth compared to the DNA. All right, I rounded a touch, a little softer. Yeah, and just the difference when that ball sees friction, it just kind of blends off of it. DNA is much sharper down lane. And then our other comparison today is gonna to be from the 900 Global Reality. So same shot, we're gonna start that little straighter kinda 
lockup or a tumble shot. Um, pretty forward. Yeah, and then kind of the same, very similar to the Proton. The DNA's got quite a bit more shape down lane. All right, so five left off the first one. This is in that track zone where we haven't got a ball down the lane yet. So we're just gonna amp our speed up just a touch. Yeah. And then it's just so forward and like an inside out miss, so a little in, a little out, and it just kind of rolls out. All right, let's give this shot a little better effort. Just try to keep it on a straighter line here. Maybe not try to throw it in the right gutter. Yeah, and when we actually make a better shot, you can just see how much the track actually really wants to dig here at West Acres. All right, five more left, gets us into the 30 range. Again, this is kind of the spot that the, the DNA came alive for me. Yeah, and the reality and the proton compared to the DNA are just so much rounder. All right, so another five, we're gonna get in that 35 range. Um, this is kind of where the DNA kept coming off the corner, coming around the corner, whatever you wanna call it. And then I kind of expect the reality and proton to kind of get lazy. Yeah, and they're just, just a little rounder shape and they just have a, a really hard time getting around the corner the right way. We're gonna add a little bit of rotation to the reality, see if we can get it to kind of come off of it like the, the DNA was. It'll probably fall somewhere right in the middle of the proton and the DNA. Yeah, and even, even with all the rotation, the proton and the reality are just so much slower. All right, so final thoughts today. Um, I probably wouldn't have all three of these in my current line bag, especially if you're a little limited, if you're taking six or obviously three. Um, I think if you're a little more on the, the rev dominant side, um, I would probably lean towards one of the slower ones, like a reality, a proton, a gem. And if you need a little more shape down lane, I would probably lean towards the DNA. The DNA just has so much more continuation down lane. In my current bag, I'll, I'll actually probably have, because I end up taking 12 balls a lot of places I go, I'll probably have a, a somewhat lane shine DNA and then a, a proton with quite a bit of fit, like surface just to really drive the, the shape difference home a little bit better. Storm DNA, March 17th. Go to your local VIP pro shop.